Welcome to today's video where we're taking a look at the Vretti Pocket Thermal Printer. Vretti sent this out for review but that does not affect my thoughts or opinions on this device. It is currently available on Amazon for $29.99 in the UK at the time of recording. We have 12 reviews with a 4.5 star rating. Stay tuned to find out how you can get this a little cheaper. There is some broken English here but it's not a problem, it is understandable. We get a USB-C lead in there. This is for charging only. It's not a data lead, it is just for charging. And we get the printer. It's kind of like a little panda bear. It's only around four inches by four inches, maybe an inch and a half deep. We've got the USB type C port on the side here. We've got a little latch at the bottom, which opens up the lid. We've got some serrated teeth there for tearing the labels. On the bottom we've just got the model, the TP6S, and it's a 5 volt 1 amp charging input. It's compatible with Google and Apple stores and the application is called the XLife Pro. Yeah, it's fairly well made. It's a solid little printer. Probably more ideal for like students, children, things like that. It does come with some label included. But these are fairly inexpensive. This is your typical till receipt. So we've got the QR code inside the leaflet here. So we're going to go ahead and scan that and then install the application. You can choose what device to install it on. If you've got several devices on your Google account, I'm just going to stick with this device. We've got our app installed. Let's open this up then. There's some privacy policy, some personal information protection guidelines and stuff to read through here. If you want to read through that, I recommend you always read the small print. We hold the button for three seconds to turn it on. The ring light comes on. That flashes when it's charging. Okay, so it says we're unconnected, so we need to press connect. Allow permissions. Searching for device and it says there it's found the TP6 which is this printer so we select that And we're connected now you can also go into the settings and change the language Okay, so once we've changed to English you can see all of our templates have now also changed to English So you've got things like here like fridge post-it notes and things like that you can also select sticky notes where you've got anything from musical ones to fun ones. You could also write little messages to your significant other or reminders and things like that. You've also got some learning charts here. There's only four on this page, but you've got like lined paper, some grids and charts and stuff like that. Your picture texts, you can select vertical or horizontal. Let's do a little test print on this to see what this looks like. You can also select if you want to amplify or downsize the image. We'll just leave it as it is. We'll select the image and then press complete. And then this should just print. So to print, you just press the printer icon. And it's a nice, quiet, smooth print tears really easily and this is like your typical till receipt i'll leave links in the description they are affiliate links with Veretti. it won't cost you any extra but you may be able to save some money with my affiliate links and i'll get a little bit of kickback from any of the sales that my links generate okay then back to this then so that's one of the sticky notes for an example you can print documents on documents we've got word text and pdf Sketch printing, some presets, so we've got some animals here, we've got some flowers, we've got some spacemen, astronauts, nurses, teachers, we've got some fruits and vegetables, we've got some submarines, ambulance, aeroplanes, trains, we've got some sports, some footballs, some stopwatches and things like that. And then we've got some shapes. Banner printing, this is pretty cool. I really like this feature. You can select the fonts that you want to use. I'm gonna say Aston Villa, and then I want this to print, but let's change the font. 
You could also change the angle, so if you wanted it to be printed horizontally, you could do that, or vertically. You could also change the font. I'm going to just change with a random font, and we'll also have it on upright. So we've just changed the font. Now we're going to press the printer icon. And it's going to show you a preview of how it's going to look. Got the preview there. I'm going to select print. It's printing it upside down, but that's fine. It's nice and smooth and quiet. The prints are pretty good. Very clean and vibrant. And that's awesome. We've also got some web printing, so you can come onto Google or you can add particular URLs. And we've also got QR code printing, which can be very useful. If you come onto the My tab here, you can create yourself an account and stuff like that. Clear the cache, change permissions and stuff like that. You could also change the language if you want. At the moment, we're on the system language, but if we select English, you can see that it'll change all of our text and stuff to English. You can also draw your own patterns, do whatever you want here. Really simple. There's a rubber, so you can go and rub it out if you make a mistake or want to change your design. If you want to do a note or an postal address or anything like that, you can do it by just simply typing the address in this section here. And then if you want to make that bigger, you can do so by the slider here. Play with that until your heart's content. You could also center them if you want. You can change the layout and you can obviously change the text pattern, whether you want it to be bold, etc. Right, now we want to do picture. We want to do a single picture. I just took a photograph of the printer, so we'll just select that. We want to print that. It gives us a pretty accurate preview. You can select and you can change the depth and color of this preview. Now, for a pocket thermal printer, that's a pretty good job. Don't get me wrong, it's not a high quality image. Thermal printing still has a long way to go, as I said before, in terms of resolution. But yeah, it's really good fun. So yeah, overall, I'm really impressed with this. To turn it off, you just hold the button three seconds. This powers it down. They do say in the instruction manual that it only takes 30 minutes to charge. However, we did time this last night and it took 40 minutes exactly to charge fully. It's not a big discrepancy, but it does take a little longer than 30 minutes. It's a nice, cool, well-built printer. Ideal for children, students, post-it notes and things like that. Just for fun, really. But yeah, I can recommend that for this price range. Like I said, it's available on Amazon for $29.99. By ordering from Amazon, you may get it a little sooner. And there's also some reviews you can base your purchasing decisions on. Or you can use my affiliate link and go to Veretti website direct, where it's £19.99. It may take an extra day or two to receive your order, though. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, please go ahead and leave a like on the video, consider subscribing to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for being here and watching today, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. My name's Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.